close your eyes, be sensitive to the breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel it in the body, and allow your attention to settle there. See if you can stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out, and then the next breath, and then the next. As you do this, you're developing good qualities in the mind. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, the ability to know what you're doing and the results of what you're doing while you're doing it. And ardency, your desire to do this well. These are qualities that provide you with a refuge. As you strengthen them, the mind can be more and more able to look after itself. On the night of his awakening, the Buddha saw that he had been born many, many times. And as he summarized each life, he was born, he had th this appearance, he belonged to this class of beings, he ate this kind of food, he had this kind of experience of pleasure and pain, and then he died. And then the next one, appearance, food, pleasure, pain, death, again and again and again. And he said it seemed pretty random, because sometimes he was born in good places, sometimes in bad places. It wasn't until the second knowledge of the night that he began to realize that this happens to all beings, and it's because, because of their actions. Your actions determine what you're, what you're going to experience, actions from the past and also actions in the present moment. So he focused on the present moment to see what was going on in the present moment, what drove the mind, and that's when he was able to gain awakening. He saw that you, even though the process didn't have any inherent meaning, there was nobody there designing this system. Still, when you're born, you can give meaning to your life by the goodness that you do. And the Pali term is bharami. It's, these are the perfections of character that you build. And these are things you can do when you're meditating, when you're going through the day. Which is why he said, try to be heedful every day, every day. You've got this day to do. Do something good with your life. In fact, you say with each breath, you've got something, this breath to do something good with your life. What do you want to do with it? The bottomies are wide range. There's generosity, virtue, renunciation, discernment, persistence, endurance, truth, determination, goodwill, equanimity. These are all good qualities to develop in your character. And you can look at any opportunity in life, when you have a family, when you have a job, or just when you're wandering around. It's an opportunity to develop the, the bottomies, develop these good qualities. And this way you give your meaning to your life. It's not something assigned to you, it's something you can choose. So take advantage of that power of choice. What good do you want to do with this life? Because otherwise it's just... Eating, pleasure, pain, death. Eating, pleasure, pain, death. Again and again. But you can make something more out of it by the goodness that you do. And the goodness that you do does become something that develops over time. As you build these qualities inside, you get more and more wealthy in what they call noble wealth. And the desire for noble wealth doesn't count as greed, it counts as initiative your desire to make your life meaningful. So the choice is yours. What kind of meaning do you want to give to life? The Buddha said it is possible through your own efforts to find a happiness that's deathless. It's really secure. And it's found by developing these, these qualities, these perfections. As you develop them, other people can depend on you. You can depend on yourself. Like that chant we have, may I look after myself with ease. This way you develop the qualities inside particularly the mindfulness and the alertness and the ardency that allow you to rely on yourself. So every breath is an opportunity to develop these good qualities. So don't let the breaths go to waste. Make as much of them as you can. <laughs>